The daughter of a 92-year-old grandmother who died after waiting five hours for an ambulance believes her mother could be alive today if she'd been seen earlier. Bridget Ford died in December after a fall at her home in Muswell Hill. But once she finally got to hospital, she waited a further 14 hours for treatment before dying of pneumonia. Mark Ashdown has the story. There are sympathy cards everywhere in the very room where 92-year-old Bridget Ford fell and broke her hip. Her daughter called an ambulance and waited five hours, helpless, then 14 hours in A&E. She feels the care her mother received to save her, in truth, contributed to her death. I love my mum completely, and to lose mum, though she was 92, that's, that's awful. But the thought that that loss could have been avoided, and the linking of the lying on the floor for those five hours, with the pneumonia and with the death, that is what I've got a problem with at the moment. So I'm not just grieving for mum, I'm actually thinking about if we'd left the hospital, she hadn't been, I'm, I'm left with a load of ifs. What isn't in doubt is that hospitals across London are struggling to cope. Many A&Es have been well below the target of seeing patients within four hours. The nursing staff care, the doctors care, I, but they're overstretched, they're overworked, there's a quick turnover in beds. How can you cope in a situation like that? The London Ambulance Service has apologised. They say they're taking up to 5,000 calls a day at the moment and have to prioritise people in immediately life-threatening conditions. I hate it. I'm a doctor, I'm a GP, I care for people like that. So it's, tra it's tragic when we hear that and our sympathy goes to her family and that's not the kind of performance we would want to see, but we're absolutely dedicated to making our services better. We want to provide world-class care, and most of the time we do that. There is a crisis in the National Health Service. It has been coming for some time. It is now here. And what we have to do is to look at why it's here, not blame the other party. Stop the blaming, stop the shaming, stop the sneering, stop using the health system, the NHS, as a political football, because what you're talking about are people's lives. We're talking about life and death situation. We're talking about people being treated with dignity and respect. Mark Ashdown, BBC London News.